Hi, I'm Adam. I work with Climate Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to create and edit pages on the Climate Lab Wiki. There are three things to emphasize. First, it's easy to create and edit pages on Climate Lab. Second, I'll show you how to present your information in a way that's organized and consistent. Third, proper documentation and citation are required and important on Climate Lab. To start, let's create a new page by clicking on Create New Page on the top navigational bar. First, you'll add a title. Let's create a page about compact fluorescent light bulbs. The introduction defines the subject of the article, places it in the context of climate change, and provides an overview of what you plan to write about. Articles are organized into sections and subsections by adding headers and subheaders. To create a new section, change the style to either header or subheader, and type the title of the new section, in this case, Technology Basics. Article sections should be organized in a logical sequence. We provided templates to automatically add suggested sections to new Climate Lab pages. Click the Templates button in your page editor and choose a template based on the category you're writing about, such as technology. There's the page with the technology template inserted. To speed things up, let's look at the same page with a little more content. Again, let's click the Edit button to open up the page editor and add some text. Footnotes should be the primary method of providing support for your article. After adding text, click the first footnote button to enter the footnote number which will go into the body of the article. The corresponding reference information is inserted separately into the footnote section which you'll find at the bottom of the article. Now let's go down to the footnote section at the end of the article and click the second footnote button in the page editor. Insert the footnote number along with the full reference information. Linking your footnotes or article text to other Climate Lab pages or to resources at external websites is simple. Just highlight the text and click the link button in your page editor. To link to other Climate Lab pages, just type the name of the page. To insert an external link, make sure to include the HTTP prefix and paste the URL. Links within the body of the article should be to other Climate Lab pages, while external links should be added only to the footnotes and resources. After we save the changes, we can see the text and the footnote we added, as well as our reference in the footnote section with the link to the original source. You may know good resources that aren't cited in the article but would be helpful additional information. Add them to the resources section at the end of the article. Now that we've covered the basics, let's go back into the page editor and add an image, newsfeed, and video in just a few clicks. First, you'll need to upload the image you want to use from your computer with the green button at the bottom right corner of your page. Once it's uploaded, insert the image by clicking the Image button in the Page Editor. Choose the image, document its source, and click to insert. We can add a Google News Feed by clicking the News Feed button in the Page Editor. Enter the search terms and a title for the feed. When you click the button, everything you need will be automatically embedded into the page. When you save your changes, you'll see a self-updating Google News Feed has been added to the page. Before we save, let's add a video. Click the Video button in the Page Editor paste the video URL, and add the title and source information. Save it, and when we go to the top to review the page, you can see the image we added, the Google News Feed with today's headlines, and a YouTube video about CFLs. Now you know how to create and edit pages on the Climate Lab Wiki. Let's get started.